Hi, I'm Mike, Pokétips Mike, and welcome to episode number 220 of my Pokémon Heart Gold Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke, where today we're joined by my boy Feng, who looks absolutely amazing in the overworld in this game. Look at him looking around, he doesn't know where he is. Never mind, maybe he does, he's staring intently at the mountain, but we're not going to be going to a mountain today. Instead, we're going to be going over to New Bark Town, where it all began, because last time we finally got our 8th gym badge from defeating the gym leader Claire, and the best part? We did it without anybody dying. And at the end of the last episode, we got a call from Professor Elm saying, Go back home! Go back to New Bark Town! So we're gonna go over there today and see what's going on. But if things go the way I have them planned, then we have a pretty big episode coming up for us. I think this is gonna be one to remember. But, <laughs> let's see Lyra for a quick second, and let's jump back into Professor Elm's lab. We're not even gonna say hi to Mom. Oh, there's Ethan. It's been a really long time since I've seen you. Pokétip, did you already collect eight badges? That's so cool! The professor is waiting for you. Oh, you're gonna walk me over? What a gentleman. Hi, Pokétip, you never cease to amaze me. Thanks to you, my research is going great. Take this as a token of my appreciation. And we get a Master Ball! Actually, not our first one in this randomizer. Found one in the rocket hideout earlier on, and we used it to catch that Shadow Latias. I think that was a ball well used. Especially because we get another one. The Master Ball is the best! It's the ultimate Pokeball! It'll catch any Pokémon without fail. It's given only to noted Pokémon researchers. And apparently the floor of Team Rocket hideouts too. I think you can make much better use of it than I can, Pokétip. By the way, we just had a group of beautiful Kimono Girls looking for you. The Kimono Girls are waiting for you at the Ecrutik Dance Theater. Alright, well let's go check it out. We've been seeing them pop up all over the region, and they're always lost or stuck, like in a forest, and lately, somebody's slipper was frozen to the ice in the ice path. I don't really know how that happens, but let's go- Oh, wait a second! YouTube! How? How is this possible? How can I lose to mere Kimono Girls? You were watching me, Pokétip? Yeah, that's right. I never thought defeating five Kimono Girls would be so hard. I got beaten to a pulp. You must have come here for the same reason, right? Don't get cocky just because you defeated Team Rocket. These Kimono Girls are insanely strong! Go ahead, see if you can defeat them. But I'm not going back. I don't want to see you win. And just like usual, he's gotta give me the good old thud right to the face. Come here, YouTube. Let's go right now! My team's ready! I'm ready to take you down again for what you did to me last time. But let's go say hi to the Kimono Girls. Wow, the theater's empty! Except for these five. Welcome, my name is Zuki. Aw, that sounds like Suki. Rest in peace, Suki. I met you previously in Violet City. In order to bring back Ho-Oh. Yup, that's right, we're going after a legendary Pokemon today. Let's make it happen. Okay, let's get back to this. In order to bring back Ho-Oh, we needed someone with the right bond with Pokemon. We asked Mr. Pokemon to give this mystery egg to whoever showed true potential. The egg was eventually handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Realm, and then to you. However, being pure alone will not be sufficient to face the power of this Pokemon. I must test you. Are you ready? Yes, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, actually, yeah, no, we should be good. Ooh, I like their little theme before the battle. It gets more intense. I will test how closely you've bonded with your Pokemon. Let's hope my Dugtrio over here, Fang, is up for the challenge. Ooh, I like that transition screen too. Very cool. But yeah, let's hope Fang is up for the challenge here. Oh, nice. They only have one Pokemon each, not a full team of six. Imagine that! Five trainers with full teams of six. I feel like they should have a full team of six, but you know what? I'm not going to complain too much. Fang! Let's try to get through this Toxicroak. I'm honestly worried about using Fang because Fang's defense and HP are terrible, but its attack is okay and its speed is great. So, let's see. I really don't want to lose Fang in its first ever battle. Also, I really hope they give me a little break to switch up my team, because I'm not going through six battles using Fang for every single one of them. But wait a second, almost killing it, but here comes a Hammer Arm. That's going to be a stab move from Toxicroak, and Fang is dead. <laughs> Alright, Fang, you had your chance. I didn't think that was gonna work out too well. That's why I didn't even bother training you up even higher. I thought you were gonna die pretty quickly. There it is. You joined the team and just as quickly as you joined, you're out. Oh, rest in peace, Fang. Dugtrio is just not meant to be a Pokemon used in a randomizer Nuzlocke. Alright, bye-bye. <laughs> I feel bad though, now I gotta increase that death counter. I really wanted to keep that thing, like, unchanging. I wanted to get through the rest of these episodes without anybody dying. 
Ooh, nice money. 5,000 poke. My eyes witnessed you defeating Team Rocket when Kurt was in trouble at the Slowpoke Well. Allow me to challenge you and see if your Pokemon are up to the challenge. All right, let's do it. Another Kimono Girl. Nako? Naoko? I'm sorry, I don't know how to say her name. Ludicolo, though. It's too bad Korra doesn't have any flying type moves, but it's cool. I think Spatial Ren will make some good work of this Ludicolo. I would love a Ludicolo. I love Ludicolo so much. Ever since I saw it in XD, Gale of Darkness, and Mirror B doing all of his dances, and his theme, of course. Theme is incredible. You know what? I gotta play through, like, Pokemon XD version sometime on the channel. I think that'll be a lot of fun. A randomized- What? Korra! Korra's missing that Spatial Ren. Goodness gracious. Now more than ever, it's really important for me to hit all the Spatial Rens, because I can't really go heal up between these battles. Oh my goodness though. Nice. Nice crit. Okay, you redeemed yourself there, Korra. Again, I'm just thinking about if all these people had six Pokemon, I really think this would be like the randomizer killer right here. I don't think we'd make it if they all had six Pokemon. No chance to heal between the battles? 30 Pokemon in a row? Oh my goodness, that would be harder than the Elite Four. Alright, trainer number three, Mickey, with a Torkoal. Come on, Korra, let's not have any more deaths over here. Fang we all knew was gonna go down, but Korra, not you. Ooh, Flare Blitz, will it do enough recoil damage to knock out the Torkoal? Let's see, no, not happening today, I didn't think so. Well, let's mix up our moves here, let's go for a Shadow Ball, ba-boom, Shadow Ball right to the face. Normally these people have all five of the Eevee evolutions, all of them that existed in the normal Gold and Silver. It'd be kind of cool if they added two more Kimono Girls. Ooh, Outrage. Nah, I'm okay. It would've been cool though, since there were seven back when these games were out, if they added two more Kimono Girls that used a Glaceon and Leafeon, even though they're not naturally like Johto Pokemon, it would be kind of cool. Excellent fighting spirit. You got me off the ice by pushing me from the back. Yeah, I remember that. You're the one that skates in the sandals. All right, well, let's go ahead and do it. You know what, you shouldn't even battle me. I helped you out, Sayo. Oh, that's cool. And Armaldo. What did an Armaldo kill before. I think this thing knocked out one of my Pokemon. Let's not play around with Armaldo. Instead, let's bring out Star. I don't remember exactly what Armaldo killed, but I remember it was kind of recent, and it took out one of my Pokemon, so we're not having a repeat of that. Star, you're gonna come out and one-shot the Armaldo. Wonderful. Wonderful. I can't believe last episode Claire was saying, oh, you might not be ready for the Pokemon League. I feel too powerful right now. All right, and is this going to be the final Kimono Girl? I am the last one. I am the one who twirls even underground. I am Kuni, the Kimono Girl. I look at you and wonder when you thwarted Team Rocket's mission to take over the radio tower. You must show your strength to me now. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. Again, all these people have been, like, stalking me my whole adventure, so what's the point of even battling me? They know I'm a pretty strong trainer. Oh, Shadow Raichu! I miss you, Ozai. And this would have been the one battle here where Fang really would have shined. If this was the first Kimono Girl, then at least Fang would have gone down with a little bit more glory. Ooh, but secret power. Any secrets you gonna be showing me today? Nope, no secrets for you. Well, it's only fitting. Let's take down the Shadow Pokemon with Shadow Ball. Get that Shadow Raichu out of here with the purple tail. I miss my Shadow Raichu. It was such a cool Pokemon to have, but it's cool. We have a Shadow Latias now. And there we go, all five Kimono Girls done. We were not wrong about you. You are indeed worthy of this. Please take it. And this is it, the clear bell, the other item that we needed. Ooh, what's this little shake? Big sisters, I just saw the big shadow of a Pokemon over the bell tower. It could be Poketip. We'll be at the bell tower. See you there. All right, so it looks like the legendary Pokemon returned to the bell tower. Let's go. Let's go, Huey, not the time. We've gotta go get ourselves a legendary Pokemon at the bell tower now. But first things first, we gotta heal. Uh, second, Fang, you're gonna go get boxed now, basically forever. And third, let's see, who would be a good Pokemon to bring back right now? You know what, let's bring back Shucky. Now next, so I don't blow it and lose the legendary Pokemon encounter, let's go to the Pokemon Center and actually buy some repels. Because here's my strategy for catching the legendary Pokemon. I went over it a few episodes ago, but I'll just go over 
it one more time. So at the top of the tower, we're gonna run into a legendary Pokemon. Normally it's Ho-Oh, I believe the game is gonna randomize it, so it probably won't be Ho-Oh. And if everything goes well, I should be able to catch it. Now, I'm gonna use repels throughout the whole entire Bell Tower, so that way I don't run into any Pokemon at all before I get to the legendary Pokemon at the top. That way I can make it to the legendary Pokemon and catch it, and it'll be my encounter and totally usable. But here we are once again, the Bell Chime Trail, the most beautiful place in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Look at that. Look at that beautiful color. Well, let's go ahead. Let's go inside of the Bell Tower. And you can see the Ho-Oh and the Rattata, the most legendary Pokemon of them all. Youngster Joey would be proud. So let's go with the Strat. Let's use the Max Repel. Uh, let's put a fast Pokemon in the front of the party. Oh yeah, Core is fine. Just so nothing else goes through. And, ooh, a Sage. Are you gonna stop me? That thing you have. Ooh, look at that. It's coming out of my bag. It's just floating. You have done it. Please come through. All right, let's come through. You heard the man. Here we are, second floor of the Bell Tower. I believe there's like a little puzzle or something we gotta do in here. Oh yes, I hate these things. Well, let's grab this item, a Heat Rock. All right, so far so good. Puzzle doesn't seem that hard. Let's go up another floor and ooh, a split path. Yes! Yes! We're getting all the stones that we need. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Let's do it. Now we can evolve the Jigglypuff that we caught too. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Let's see. I think that might have been the final teleporter that we need. Let's go up another floor. And ooh, this is kind of sketch. Let's uh, move over it carefully. I mean, I guess at least if I fall in, Latias has got my back. But yep, we made it to the top of the Bell Tower. Oh, look at this. Look at this, these beautiful Nintendo DS graphics. I actually think this looks really good. But let's step forward and start this. Yes, this is where we welcome Ho-Oh. When the dance we practiced for so many days becomes one with the sound of the clear bell we entrusted to you, then Ho-Oh shall come down from the great arc of the sky once again. All right, there goes the clear bell flying up in the air. Let's summon a legendary. Now this, this is how you summon a legendary Pokemon. And here it comes. Out of the sky, it's Ho-Oh! Oh my goodness, it's like on the title screen. Look at it flying around. Here it comes. The legendary Ho-Oh! That is indeed Ho-Oh. The guardian of the sky around here from ancient times. So many have tried and tried only to fail. Pokétip, your heart and the clear bell in harmony have finally made it appear. Pokétip, don't you see? Ho-Oh must have been waiting for someone like you all this time. Wouldn't you agree? Okay. Well, out of habit, we're gonna go ahead and save the game, because that's what I usually do before I fight these legendary Pokémon. I don't really think there's much to save for here, because, you know, we have the Master Ball, this should be an easy catch. But just a little tradition. Alright, let's go up to this thing and see what you really are. Ooh! Yes! Yes, we're getting a Palkia! Look at it! Level 45 Palkia! We're playing Pokemon Pearl version right now! Oh, uh, let's change that music real quick. Okay, now, we have the Master Ball, so I don't think it's even worth it trying to risk this thing. Imagine if I tried fighting with Korra, and then Korra ended up dying. It'd be like replacing one Legendary with another Legendary, but this thing's at level 45, so I don't even want to play any games with it. Let's go ahead and let's use the Master Ball and get ourselves the Legendary Pokemon, Palkia. Let's do it. Let's get him! Yes! Gotcha! Palkia was caught! That's kind of funny. One lady was saying before, that is indeed Ho-Oh. No, it's not. That was a Palkia. Its total control over the boundaries of space enable it to transport itself to faraway places or even other dimensions. And you know what? I started a little trend with Korra. Let's go ahead and name this thing Juan. Juan the Palkia, after the first Avatar, Avatar Juan. And I think that's it. That's it, nobody says anything to me after I catch it. All right, well, let's just uh, get out of here. Oh, yeah, they just kind of stand there. That's a little awkward. Let's go back up. Are they still just gonna stand there? Oh, okay. 
little weird. They made such a big deal about summoning the whole thing, but then once we catch it, they're just standing there like, oh, okay, well, uh, guys, what are you doing for dinner later? All right, well, that plan worked perfectly. I wonder what we could have caught in the bell tower, though. I mean, re I really don't care. We got ourselves a big, sassy, legendary Pokemon over here, Palkia. Ooh. Wow, that's weird! Look at its move set. So, for starters, it has Spatial Rend, its signature move, but it also has Outrage, Draco Meteor, the ultimate Dragon-type move, and Roar of Time. Dialga's move, that's a little weird to have on this thing, but I kinda like it and I'm thinking about keeping Roar of Time on this. Even though it's a terrible move normally, I like it having Dialga's move. Alright, so I think what I'll do here, because I don't want to use two legendaries on the team, that's just too much power. Let's put away Korra for now, and let's bring Wan onto the team. Also, since it's Dragon Water type, I think it makes sense to teach this thing Surf, so it could at least use this Water type Stab. And yeah, with Wan on the team, it's gonna be tough for us to lose any more battles. Let's get rid of Outrage over here, what an Outrage, I know, and teach this thing Surf. Oh my goodness, if we go with that Rain Team strategy now, we're gonna be so, so ridiculous strong. <laughs> Look at this thing following me around, that's incredible! We've got the giant Palkia following us around everywhere we go. We can control space and time now! And what's the first thing we're gonna do with this new power? Let's go back over to Newbark Town. Why is Huey constantly calling me? Huey, what do you have to say that's so important? Hey, I challenge you to a battle. Look, I don't want to battle you right now, Huey, because we have bigger goals today. We've come back to where it all began, New Bark Town, because we're going to be going on a new adventure from here. Let's leave New Bark Town behind, and the whole Johto region for that matter. Let's hop on Wan's back, that big space dragon. Oh, just jumped right through me. Seems a little dangerous, and let's go to Route 27, where we could get a new encounter, but I think my repel might still be going on. I'm not exactly sure. There we go. Repel wore off. Let's get our new encounter over here. What's it gonna be for Route 27 before we take a huge step? Pachirisu! Okay! All right, come on out, Juan. Don't scare this thing away, please. Oh, we have one more quick ball, too. Something tells me it's not gonna work. I just have not had good luck at all with quick balls in this randomizer, so let's see. It's gonna break out. Wait, we're getting some shakes. No way. <gasps> what? It actually worked. The quick ball worked. I hit myself in the eye doing that. Okay. All right. Time to stop acting silly. Pachirisu, the Ellie Squirrel Pokemon? <laughs> All right. It's one of the kinds of Pokemon with electric cheek pouches. Even the Pokedex wants to acknowledge it's a Pikachu clone. Ooh, this would have been a great one to call Momo. I'm going to name this one uh, Naga after Korra's giant polar bear dog. I'm sure you guys can totally see the resemblance here. All right. So let's get off of the water over there and... Ah, uh, one of my favorite parts of all of Pokemon. Hey, do you know what you just did? You've taken your first step into Kanto. Check your Pokegear map and see. Look at that, it says in the corner, Kanto, how crazy. <laughs> but we can't scroll right and see the Kanto region just yet. However, we can see Victory Roads Ahead and the Indigo Plateau. Yup, we have some big challenges coming up to us. Oh, you know what I totally forgot to do? I could have 100% went to Route 45 and got a new encounter over there, but you know what? We'll save that for later. We'll do that later. Because right now we're in Kanto, guys. We might as well explore and have a little fun over here. Let's go into the Tojo Falls. Here we go. Look at that beautiful Goldeen in the falls. I love all the little spot-like pictures. Now, should I go on the water and catch something, or should I catch something on the ground over here? You know what? Let's just run back and forth. Keep it simple. What are we going to find over here on the land? Is this going to be another Pachirisu? No, it's going to be a Blaziken. But we can't catch a Blaziken because we already had uh, Zuko the Combuskin which was in the same family. We can't catch a Blaziken, unfortunately. That would be really cool to have. I would love to have a firefighting Pokemon back on the team again. Even though it evolved into an Infernape, we still can't catch that thing. So let's see, let's get something new. So far we ran into two Blazikens. Let's find something different. Zubat. Zubat? It's a Zubat. Well, that is different. And you know, a lot of people, they don't really like Zubat. It's super common in most caves. Every two steps you run into one. But I do like Zubat because it's evolution, Golbat, and then eventually Crobat. That's a pretty cool Pokemon. I've always loved using Crobat. So I will gladly welcome a Zubat to the team, even though it's likely not going to evolve 
into a Crobat. Because with randomized evolutions, they could take either the poison or the flying route. Alright, let's name this thing June after the bounty hunter June. And you know what? I actually do want to pick up June. Let's go back to the Johto region for now, really quickly. Let's grab her out of the PC, and you know what? Let's check out Naga's moveset too. Charge Beam, Rock Tomb, Magnet Rise, and Smelling Salt. Intriguing. And over here we have eh, less intriguing moves. I think I'll put Shucky away temporarily, and let's give this thing the experience share. And now, back to Kanto! Actually, scratch that first, we're gonna make a quick trip to the move deleter. Let's get Whirlpool off of Star. So now we can teach Star Waterfall and actually be able to explore the Tojo Falls. I hate how in this game you need so many HMs. It really makes me appreciate how in the newer games, all the HMs are just relegated to items or Pokémon you could call and summon at will. Ugh. Well, you better be something cool. Oh, Apom! Yeah, it's definitely cool, because I know your secret. Eventually, you turn into a Togekiss. Oh, Professor Oak's calling me, too. All the professors are calling me. Hello, this is Professor Oak. You're catching a lot of Pokemon, aren't you? And that's it? Crazy old man. All right, let's go up the waterfall over here. Star, use your waterfall and help me get through this falls. I saw a secret item back here. Oh, that looks kind of cool, us behind the waterfall. Oh, there's a cave back there, too. I didn't even notice that at first. Let's grab this item, a Miracle Seed. What is it with me and Miracle Seeds? What's in this cave, though? A, a radio? Oh. Oh, yes. Don't worry, guys. We're going to come back and do this eventually. For now, let's leave the Tojo Falls and start exploring Route 27. I guess that's a trainer right there. I don't know. I don't want to battle you. <laughs> Palkia is so big that we just, like, kind of clip through its body, and it looks so weird every single time. All right, let's surf over here. And Ooh, grass. I wonder what we could have found in the grass over there. Also, I find it kind of weird how at this point in the game, we're in the Kanto region, but it still plays the Johto Wild Pokemon music and the Johto Trainer Battle music music when we hop in a trainer battle. I know they kind of save the special music as like a little post-game thing. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Running back and forth on the bridge, get your exercise. I know they say it as a little post-game thing, but like, I don't know, if we're in the Kanto region, they should play the Kanto music. Oh no, there's more Whirlpools. Please tell me you don't need Whirlpool again. I just got rid of that move. Ooh, and there's a spinner. Can we dodge him? Can we dodge him? I'm a little rusty. Actually, you know what? We can dodge him. Let's do the big brain play of just going around them like that. There we go. Wow. Oh, you got me. I was going to say we're dodging all the trainers. You came from New Bark Town? You must be exhausted. No, I'm not really exhausted. My Pokemon have been doing all the work here. Serving me around, bringing me over waterfalls. Let's see how your Pokemon are doing, Ace Train Arena. Ooh, level 40. You're not going to stand a chance here against Juan. All right, Juan, let's fire off your signature move here. Spatial Rends. We've been seeing this before in our Shadow Latias, but it's a lot more appropriate coming from a Palkia. Let's get that big bear out of here. Goodbye. And that's real power. Latias, Shadow Latias, it's pretty strong. Huh, Manaphy. Legendary Pokemon versus a mythical Pokemon. Wow, level 36, what happened to your levels? Aw, oh, we're missing. Gotta give Manaphy a little chance, I guess. But yeah, look at this power that Juan has. This is gonna make everything super, super simple. Our opponents are not gonna stand a chance, so I think after this battle, Juan is gonna get put to the back of the team. We'll use other Pokemon throughout this whole area because, oh my goodness, I just feel way too strong having a Palkia on my team. Ooh, Manaphy and Fione! I'm sick of this thing. Let's give it the ultimate move. Let's knock this thing out with Roar of Time. This is what you get for defeating Toph. We're going to obliterate you right now. Get that thing out of here. Goodbye and good riddance. <laughs> That's a nice finisher. Dragon type hyper beam right there. Oh, you're much too strong. Trust me, I know. I feel like I gotta nerf myself. Oh yeah, that's right. Zubat evolves really quickly. All right, let's do it. June is evolving. What are we gonna get? Let me cover my eyes real quick. Give myself a little bit of a surprise. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? And it is... Noctowl! Zubat evolving into a Noctowl? Okay. All right, we'll take it. Well, now that it's a Noctowl, I don't even know if I want to use it anymore. I don't know. We'll see how things go. Let's keep moving on, though. Exploring the Kanto region. Ooh, Route 26. Gotta get used to it now. The routes are gonna be counting down. And can I make it past this spinner? I think so. Oh, wait. Palkia, you're covering its head. I can't see him. Turn one more time. Come on. And yeah, we did it. We did it. We dodged the spinner. Okay. And now we get a brand new encounter in this grass over here. Because this is a new area, Route 26. Let's see what we're gonna get. You know what I want? Give me Arceus. 
Mesperates! Are we getting two legendaries this episode? <laughs> yes! Okay, well, with Mesperate, I think the way I'm gonna try to weaken this thing is actually going to be with Wu. So on Wu we have Force Palm, which Mesprit resists, and Force Palm has a decent chance of paralyzing my opponent. So no! Uh, why does this stuff happen to me? Why? <laughs> Why does this happen to me all the time? Why can't I just catch Pokemon and just let that be it? <laughs> I had a good strategy. I had a good strategy. We we're gonna weaken that thing, we we're gonna paralyze it with Force Palm, and then we we're gonna throw some balls at it. But no, Mesprit had a mind of its own and decided, nope, I'm gonna teleport right out of here. I swear, I am the unluckiest person ever. Oh my goodness, first in Sword and Shield, and now here! I hate that move, Teleport! I gotta, like, find a way to take that out of randomizers or something. Make it so Pokemon I encounter just can't have that move. Cause that, that's annoying. That's so annoying. Second time I lost a Legendary to stupid Teleport. Alright, well, what else was in the grass? What else could we have found over here? Uh, Pidgeot. And there's another one. And Sentret. You know what? I would have taken the Sentret over the Mesperate because at least that thing wouldn't teleport away from me. Well, you know what? It probably would. It would have a roar or something and make the battle end. Eh, to cheer myself up, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna turn on the GB sounds. Yeah, hear that 8 bit music. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just keep going. I feel like there's more routes too around here. We're probably gonna get another new encounter soon, and- Oh wait! This is the house with the nice old person- Oh wait, no. Maybe not old, but you heal up my Pokémon, right? Yes, thank you so much, you're so sweet. We need this. There! Your Pokémon are looking good, keep at it! And you, you are unavoidable, so I guess we'll go ahead and do it. By experiencing tough battles, you gain power! Are you saying you're gonna give me a tough battle, buddy? You look kinda like a monkey with that hairstyle, H Trainer Gavin. Ooh, but Drapion! Well, this thing doesn't exactly scream tough to me. Let's send out Star and make easy work of this thing. Alright, Star, do your thing, surf! Aw, oh, it's just barely gonna live. <laughs> and it's gonna try setting up with Nasty Plot. Buddy, you're not gonna get a turn to set up with Nasty Plot. I'm gonna end your whole career right now with Waterfall. And actually, I was kind of expecting this guy to have a, a Hyper Potion or something. I feel like once you get near Victory Road in some games, the trainers start having items, but I guess not in this game. Alright, Gallade, Psychic and Fighting. We are not going to do that today. Not with Star. Appa, it's your turn. Ooh, Outrage. It's a good thing I didn't switch into Wan there. That would have been a big mess. Appa's gonna take a decent chunk from this too. Uh, let's try going for Fly. It'll end your Outrage. That's okay. But let's see. Please hit. Please. <sighs> Appa. Appa. Come on. I gave you a Flying type move and I want you to use it. Well, let's try going for Fly a third time. I don't think Appa's gonna hit him. Come on, hurt yourself in confusion. Do it, give yourself a big smack. Ooh, dynamic punch. How much do you want to bet that that would have actually hit me? I'm missing all my moves, but I know they, they always like to hit their moves. All right, Gallade's down. June's gonna get a little experience. I think I'm gonna put June back in the box soon. And Corsola is the third and final Pokemon on this team. All right, Kenya, you're switching into this whole Corsola mess. And ooh, you've got Seismic Toss, actually a solid move. Got a decent chunk of damage on me, but look, Kenya never lets me down. Hit that Seed Flare, let's knock out that Corsola and end this battle over here. Boost experience, there we go, and Ace Trainer Gavin is down. Ugh, life is even tougher. Ooh, more trainers, you know what, let's go back to that house, that healing house. And you know what, while I'm at it, let's actually go back to the Johto region and just swap up my team. I know we've got some big battles coming up pretty soon, so I just want to have everything ready to go. Part of the reason YouTube messed me up so badly when he did fight me last time was because I was in the middle of, like, training a bunch of new Pokémon, and my team wasn't fully optimized, but now I think we're ready to go. Look at this powerhouse! We really have some awesome Pokémon on the team. And it looks like this lady over here is the final trainer we have to fight before we can go to the Pokemon League and Victory Road. So let's see, who have I not led off with in a really long time? Probably Kenya. I never lead off with Kenya. So let's go ahead, let's give it a shot. Uh, let's put some berries back on my Pokemon though. 
Here you guys go. Enjoy your berries. Kenya looks so excited to be used again in the front of the party. I lost to a red-headed trainer. He was really strong, but it was as if he absolutely had to win at any cost. I felt sorry for his Pokemon. Well, if you lost to him, ooh, whoa, look at that Charizard. Look at that sick Charizard. That's insane. That's like an ultra shadow Charizard or something. Ugh, the one time I lead off with Kenya, though, is the time that we see this crazy Charizard. Well, uh, you know what, Juan, Juan, we've gotta hold you back for a little bit. You're too strong for these trainers, so let's bring out Star instead. Ooh, Flare Blitz. On second thought, maybe Juan would have been a good switch in here. How much is that gonna do? Oh, good. We're fine. We're fine. And let's see, Star. Wow. I had no idea Tentacruel was so fast. I always thought Tentacruel was a little bit of a slower Pokemon. I really never used it before. But man, it's outspeeding a Charizard. That's pretty cool. And nice, Kenya's getting to level 45. Ace Trainer Jamie has the Breloom. Wow, a lot of annoying Pokemon for me to deal with here. Let's just try out Sludge Bomb, see how that's like. I mean, it's not going to hit us with super effective grass moves, so we should be all right. I think we might even one-shot it. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Again, Star, you've become so powerful, so incredible, and I'm so proud of you. You're very good at battling. We should battle again sometime. All right, fine. I rejected everybody else in this episode. You could have my number, though. And with that little jingle, my friends, we've reached the Pokemon League. Reception Gates. So this is a perfect spot to end the episode. We caught ourselves a legendary Pokemon, we had a legendary fail, and so many members of my team are coming out and showing what incredible Pokemon they are. So next time, we're gonna take on the ultimate challenge. We're gonna go through Victory Road and make our way to fight the Elite Four. And with the way things are going right now, I think we can do it. So my friends, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a big thumbs up right now. Do it to make me feel a little bit better about that mess spirit teleporting away from me. And my friends, I'll be seeing you next time with episode 21.